We've all heard about scientists making new groundbreaking discoveries that are changing the world, or at least the way we see it. Some things are so amazing that we get to think they do not wish to let us in on all of their secrets. But that's not always true. Some discoveries are unexplainable, no matter how they try. Scientists are continually finding new things that are baffling and unexplainable. These include many different finds, from mysterious ancient structures to unknown beings found in the ocean's depths. This list represents 20 most incredible finds scientists can explain. Number 20. Old Chariot Found in One Thracian Tomb in Bulgaria The remains of two horses, a dog, and an old Thracian chariot have also been found. But who was interred within the chariot? And what exactly is so amazing about the discovery? Archaeologists discovered a 1900-year-old chariot in a Thracian tomb in southeast Bulgaria. The four-wheel chariot was uncovered during excavations in the village of Borosovo, roughly 180 miles east of Sofia, the capital. This is the first entirely intact chariot we have discovered in Bulgaria. The team also discovered table pottery, glass vessels, and other gifts for the funeral of a wealthy Thracian aristocrat at the funerary mound. In a different pit, they discovered well-preserved bronze and leather objects, some of which were likely harnesses and the skeletons of two riding horses who had apparently been sacrificed during the nobleman's funeral. Agri decided that $7,800 more would be provided by the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences for an initial restoration and conservation of the chariot and other Thracian artifacts. In addition to the $3,900 promised by the Culture Ministry as financial support for the dig, the Thracians were an ancient people who occupied the lands of present-day Bulgaria and parts of modern Greece, Turkey, Macedonia, and Romania between 4000 BC and the 6th century AD when they were assimilated by invading Slavs. In Bulgaria, there are over 10,000 Thracian mounds, some of which are magnificent stone burials. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Ehrlich's Gate The strong subterranean activity in Iceland is causing the country to still be forming. In the past, people have sought explanations from the church and science. They looked to the supernatural realm for an explanation because they couldn't find one there. Two unusual and stunning columnar basalt structures may be seen northeast. Kirk Jubajar Glastur, and immediately east of the Foss Asu waterfall. The terrain is believed to have been shaped after the Ice Age, and a cube-jointed basalt is on top of the columns. The unusual appearance of the rocks is thought to have been brought on by the waves because of the greater sea level at the time. The chilly seawater stopped the gushing hot lava, which caused it to condense and cause surface cracking. The columns then begin to form with six sides due to the numerous horizontal cracks that begin to form. When something like this occurs, travelers from all over the world are drawn to the area. Iceland is a truly ethereal location. The mythology, the people, and the nature combine to create a singular experience. Although Iceland is frequently referred to as the land of fire and ice, it defies classification. This island contains ancient magic hidden within its cliffs, caves, and rocks, and is home to numerous mysterious animals. One of the various places these Icelandic hidden people live is on dwarf cliffs. Number 18. The Obsidian Monkey Vase the Obsidian Monkey Vase is in the Mexica Aztec Room of Mexico City's National Museum of Anthropology MNA. This vase is about 17 centimeters tall and is made from a single piece of obsidian that has been carved and polished. It might not seem like much, but it would be hard to make it again even now if you didn't have modern technology. Obsidian is a stone made from lava, but gemologists don't consider it a stone. Instead, they put it in a group of glasses. Anthropologists of today are still trying to figure out where this work came from and how it was made. How did they cut and then polish it? There is no hint in any testimony or other work, no matter how great. He was supposedly found in Texoco, but that's all we know. For a long time, experts haven't been able to find a connection between it and archaeological site. And they haven't been able to find a reliable cultural context. The obsidian monkey was often used to show how looting archaeological sites for private collections was wrong. It was a normal thing to do until the early 1900s. We now think it was made between 1250 CE and 1521 CE. Number 17. Cthulhu Tablet 
an extremely well-preserved fossil discovered in Herefordshire, has been named Solacina Cthulhu, after the monstrous fictional creature that inspired its discovery. Although it was just around three centimeters wide, the crew that found it said that the multitude of tentacles reminded them of the monster Cthulhu, invented by the American author H.P. Lovecraft. Lovecraft, a giant entity revered by cultists, the author describes its appearance as looking like an octopus, a dragon, and a character of a human form all at the same time. It's believed that the fossil belonged to a relative of tube-shaped sea cucumbers and spiky sea urchins, both of which are still alive and well today. This new material provides the first information on the internal structures of the extinct group known as the Ophiocystioids. This contains a form similar to an inner ring, which has never been described in relation to this group. This is the first proof that the Ophiocystoids possess the soft sections of the aqueous circulatory system. According to our interpretation of the findings, Solacina and its relatives are more closely connected to sea cucumbers rather than sea urchins, according to a computerized examination of the evolutionary relationships between fossil sea cucumbers and sea urchins. These findings throw a fresh insight into the evolutionary history of the group. Number 16. Nazca Lines the Nazca Lines represent a group of enormous geoglyphs, patterns, or motifs etched into the earth, situated in the coastal plain of Peru, about 250 miles (400 kilometers) south of Lima. The 2,000-year-old lines, which were drawn by the ancient Nazca culture in South America and showed a variety of plants, animals, and shapes, can only be completely appreciated from the air due to their enormous scale. Nazca lines can be classified into three categories – straight lines, geometric patterns, and visual representations. On the coastal plain, there are more than 800 straight lines, some 30 miles (48 kilometers) long. In addition, there are more than 300 geometric patterns, including spirals, arrows, zigzags, wavy lines, and standard shapes like triangles, rectangles, and trapezoids. Approximately 70 animals and vegetation are shown in the Nazca lines some of which are as long as 1,200 feet, 370 meters. A few examples are spider, hummingbird, cactus, monkey, whale, llama, duck, flower, tree, lizard, and dog. The Nazca culture is thought to have started around 100 BC and prospered starting in AD. Most of the Nazca lines were generated by the 1 to 700. Some geoglyphs may have been produced by the Nazca predecessor cultures, Chavin and Paracas. One of the driest places on Earth, the Rio Grande de Nazca River Basin contains the desert plains where the Nazca lines are found. This archaeological site covers more than 75,000 hectares. Number 15. Giants of Monte Prama the Neuragic culture of Sardinia, Italy, pronounced the ancient stone carvings known as the Giants of Monte Prama. They were found in March 1974 in farmland close to the Monte Prama in the commune of Cabras, province of Oristano in central western Sardinia, fragmented into several pieces. The statues range in height from 2 to 2.5 meters and are carved from the local sandstone. Four excavation campaigns between 1975 and 1979 yielded approximately 5,000 pieces, including 15 heads and 22 torsos, which were stored for 30 years in the archives of the National Archaeological Museum of Cagliari. A few of the most significant pieces were then displayed in the museum. Several Betalus sacred stones of the Orgiana type, used by the Neuragic Sardinians to create giants' graves, as well as enormous models of Nureg houses are among the other sculptures that have been discovered at the site along with the statues. Stone sculptures made by the Nuragic civilization, which flourished in Sardinia from the Bronze Age to the Roman era, have been discovered in previous digs. The massive tower fortress structures known as Nureg erected around the island give rise to the name Nuragic. The giant's burials, a group of approximately 800 enormous megalithic Garrily graves, either the so-called slab type or block type configuration are also credited to this civilization. Number 14. The Ark of the Covenant The Ten Commandments original engraved tablets are kept in the Ark of the Covenant, which Moses brought down from Mount Sinai. The most sacred items from the Bible have been lost for years, and people have searched in vain to find them. The renowned Ark of the Covenant is one of these sacred artifacts that are high in demand. The elaborate, gilded case that the Israelites are claimed to have constructed around 3,000 years ago to store the stone tablets on which the Ten Commandments were written is the fabled relic. 
The Ark is described in biblical texts as substantial, around the size of a 19th century seaman's chest, constructed of gold-plated wood and topped with two substantial golden angels. Poles were put through the rings on their sides to carry it. Several miracles from the Old Testament are connected to Ark. It's claimed that during the Exodus, it removed obstacles and dangerous animals off the Israelites' route. The Bible claims that the river stopped flowing when the Ark bearers stepped foot in the Jordan River as they entered the Promised Land. According to the Hebrew Bible, the Ark was constantly transferred but eventually settled in ancient Israel. The tale of how the Ark arrived there can be found in 2 Samuel 6 and Psalm 132, one of the very few explicit references to the Ark outside the Pentateuch and the historical writings. Number 13. Rock Carvings Petroglyphs are the names of the rock drawings found atop hillocks on the Konkan region of the western Maharashtra. The majority of the discoveries were made in the Rantanagiri and Rajpur regions. Most images carved into the stony, flat hilltops went undiscovered for thousands of years after they were first created. They are the physical manifestation of the fact that the Indian civilization is older than 10,000 years. The discovery of rock carvings in the western Indian state of Maharashtra that is thought to be tens of thousands of years old, has aroused a great deal of excitement among the archaeologists who believe the sculptures carries clues to a civilization that has not been discovered before. How the petroglyphs have been drawn and their similarities to those found in other parts of the world have prompted specialists to assume that they were made during the ancient era and are possibly among the earliest that has ever been unearthed. These ancient engravings have been discovered along over 250 kilometers of the coast of the Rakankan region. They depict human figures, animals, and geometric designs, such as elephants, rhinos, deers, pigs, cattle, rabbits, buffaloes, tigers, wild boars, monkeys, birds, sharks, rays, turtles, alligators, abstract prints, and the mother goddess, among other things. Number 12. Codes found in Jerusalem Zoo. Many cultures leave a snack for the dead. Egyptians buried fruit, grain, and flesh. In Mexico, family members served the departed chocolates, tamales, bread, tequila, and other goodies. Bronze Age Canaanites, who inhabited the area 4,000 years ago, had a similar ritual, but their contribution was less tasty. The freshly discovered grave includes decapitated toads, according to the Times of Israel's Amanda Brachel Dan. The toads were found in 2014 near the Jerusalem Biblical Zoo. After the study, the researchers identified the little bones in a jar as those of nine headless toads. It's unclear if the toads were posthumously eaten. Egyptians believed toads symbolized renewal, which may have motivated the offering. Decapitation may indicate the toads were prepared as food, similar to how indigenous South Americans remove frogs, heads, and toads to remove their toxic skins, adds Borshal Dan. The toads were found in one of the 67 funeral shafts in a Bronze Age cemetery near a zoo and a mall. Not only amphibians were found, researchers identified date palms and myrtle pollen on tomb containers. These plants aren't native to Jerusalem, thus they were likely cultivated there. Number 11. Sun Altar In the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in the northwestern part of China, Archaeologists have made what they are calling a significant discovery, a massive sun altar. The altar from the Bronze Age, dedicated to worshipping the sun, was found for the first time in 1993. However, excavations did not commence in earnest until the later part of last year. The excavations have revealed that the structure has striking similarities to the temples that have only been seen much farther west on the Eurasian plains. Sun temples were built by the nomadic tribes that once roamed the vast Eurasian steppe. However, no such temple had ever been discovered this far east before. The finding provides evidence that the ancient culture of Xinjiang shared strong connections with the cultures of the other locations in Central Asia. The altar structure is in the shape of a circular ring, with three distinct stone levels. The layers are separated by dirt and pebbles. The diameter of the ring that is farthest out is greater than 100 meters. According to reports, the primary structure has miraculously maintained its integrity despite having existed for more than 3,000 years. Archaeologists are under the impression that to erect the temple, its builders would have to have transported stones over significant distances. Number 10. Unfinished Obelisk Hathisput, 1508 to 1458 BC, asked for it to be made, possibly to go with what would later be called a Lateran Obelisk which was originally at Karnak, and was later brought to the Lateran place in Rome. 
The unfinished obelisk is about a third bigger than any Egyptian obelisk that has ever been built. If it had been finished, it would have been about 41.75 meters, 137 feet long, and weighed nearly 1,090 tons, 1,200 short tons, which is about the same as 200 African elephants. The people who made the obelisk tried to carve it right out of the rock, but cracks in the granite stopped them. The obelisk is still connected to the bedrock at its base. The unfinished obelisk shows interesting things about how ancient Egyptians worked with stone. You can still see marks from the workers' tools, and ochre-colored lines show where they were working. Along with the unfinished obelisk, an unfinished, partly worked obelisk base was found in the quarries of Aswan in 2005. Some rock carvings and remains were also found, which may have come from the same place where most of the famous obelisks were made. These Aswan quarries and unfinished objects make up an outdoor museum the Egyptian government protects as an archaeological site. Number 9. Sudoku in the Walls of Temple Palan's Kuzi, Adu Puli Atam, or even Paramapadam, may come to mind when you consider classic South Indian games that have been played for ages. What about Sudoku, though? A Sudoku game may have been played when the stone pillar was constructed, according to inscriptions discovered by archaeologists on a stone pillar in Mandapam. Typically, the Mandapam is utilized in April during the Panguni Uthram festival. The engraving style on the numbers shows that the pillar dates back to the 17th century. The 3x3 three three square is marked with Tamil numbers in the inscriptions found on the pillar. The sum of the numbers which Narayana Muthi points out is suggestive of the number of the temple deity, Muragan, is 15 added in any direction. According to Hinduism, every god has a number, and Lord Muruga's number is 6. 1 plus 5 equals 6. It's interesting to note that the deity is positioned in front of this pillar during celebrations. These Sudoku squares inscriptions can serve as a hint as to their significance. This tells us that the game was played here long before anywhere else. Since the 13th century, this specific mandapam in the temple has undergone numerous renovations. The inscriptions on these pillars had previously been covered in several layers of limestone. Inscriptions on the pillar were discovered as the mandapam was being rebuilt for the event. Number 8. Moorhead Circle The Moorhead Circle, a wood hinge, was found in 2005 AD in southwest Ohio. Just northeast of Cincinnati, Ohio, a sort of wooden stone hedge gradually forms as archaeologists uncover more evidence of a 2,000-year-old ritual monument. One of their most recent discoveries is that the Ohio timber rings, like Stonehenge, were probably intended to commemorate astronomical dates like the summer solstice. The location, formerly known as Moorhead Circle, but known as Woodhenge by non-archaeologists, was formerly a barren forest of wooden poles. The site is about 200 feet, 57 meters broad, and is laid out in a strange design of concentric but unfinished rings. See an image of rebuilt timber circles close to Stonehenge. Since religion is so important to the Native Americans in this situation, it's advised for them to try to erect the Moorhead Circle as soon as they can after settling a city in which it can be built. The Moorhead Circle, which was recently discovered, was presumably used for ceremonial purposes, though the specifics are unknown. It was composed of three concentric rings of wooden posts, believed to be up to 15 feet tall each, with about 200 in the outer ring, roughly 200 feet in circumference. Number 7. The Ancient Crossword On the basilica wall in the market area of the ancient city of Greek Smyrna, a word puzzle of Greek words from top to bottom and left to right was discovered. The words ran in both directions, Turkish Izmir. It has the appearance of an acrostic. Within each of the five columns, identical words are written from left to right and top to bottom. The term logos, which can be found in the middle of the page, can be found in the third column. Given that there are also names of people involved in the crossword, it can be challenging to fully comprehend what is being conveyed by clues. There are researchers and historians who assert that the Christian community during that period was subject to a great deal of pressure by the Roman authorities, and as a result, they invented these kinds of crosswords to communicate with one another. However, because this information is readily available to everyone, we do not consider this to be anything more than a crossword. Given that this was a marketplace, there should have been stalls along the area in these front walls. This discovery provides insights into the activities that the vendors of the time engaged in to pass the time while working in the marketplace. Number 6. A mummy found in the Taklamakan Desert Archaeologists haven't known much about the hundreds of naturally preserved mummies found in China's Tarim Basin, 
since they were found in a hundred years ago. Some people thought that the Bronze Age remains were from people who moved to the area thousands of kilometers to the west and taught the people there how to farm. But now, genetic analysis suggests that they were native people who may have learned how to farm from groups nearby. Researchers have found that the ancestors of these early Chinese farmers were Stone Age hunter-gatherers who lived in Asia about 9,000 years ago. They wrote about this today in Nature One. They may have been genetically different from other groups, but they still knew how to raise animals and grow grains like other groups. In April 1991, pictures of mysterious mummies were found in the sand of the Taklamakan Desert in the Tarim Basin in the Chinese province of Xinjiang. They were wearing brightly colored clothes. A baby's eyes were made to look like blue stones. A man with a big beard wore boots made of deer skin. Witch hats for women were tall and pointed. It was the first time the well-preserved mummies from Taklamakan Desert were shown to the people in the West. Number 5. Galileo's Middle Finger The finger is a fascinating example of irony. It's revered, preserved in a shrine, and given the same care as a sacred relic. But no saint possessed this finger. It's a lengthy bony appendage belonging to a heretic opposed to the church. It took time for Galileo's fingers to mature into something worth snapping off his skeletal hand, just like a superb wine does. 95 years after Galileo's passing, on March 12, 1737, Juan Anton Francesco Gori cut off the finger. After being passed about for a few centuries, it was finally buried in Florence History Science Museum. Galileo's teeth, two additional fingers, a spine, and other items were found at an auction in 2009. The spare components had vanished in 1905 and hadn't been seen in more than a century. The Science Museum received them back after determining their origins so that they might rejoin Galileo's middle finger. An Italian museum director announced Friday that two fingers and a tooth taken from Galileo Galilei's corpse in a Florentine basilica in the 18th century and thought to be lost have been discovered again and will soon be displayed. Three fingers, a vertebra, and a tooth were taken from the astronomer's body by admirers in 1737, 95 years after his death, as his corpse was being moved from a storage place to a monumental tomb. Number 4. The Myrnapath Still Myrnapath was a pharaoh in ancient Egypt who ruled from 1213 to 1203 BCE. The Myrnapath Stele is an inscription that Myrnapath wrote. It's also known as the Israel Stele or the Victory Stele of Myrnapath. Finder's Petri was discovered at Thebes in the year 1896 and it may today be found in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Most of the text is the narrative of Myrnapath's triumph over the ancient Libyans and their allies. However, the final of the three texts, 28 lines, discuss a separate campaign in Canaan, which was a part of Egypt's imperial conquests at the time. Because the word Israel is the interpretation given by the vast majority of experts to a series of hieroglyphs in Alliance 17, it's frequently referred to as the Israel Stele. There have been suggestions made for other translations. However, most people do not agree with them. The Stele is the sole known reference to Israel from ancient Egypt and is the oldest known written reference to Israel. The Mesha Stele, the Tel Dan Stele, and the Kirk Monoliths are other three known examples of Iron Age inscriptions that date to the time of ancient Israel and mention the nation by name. This particular inscription is one of just four examples. As a direct result, the Myrnapath Stele is often cited as Petrie's most well-known discovery. Number 3. Antikythera Mechanism Scientists have discovered the secret of the Antikythera Mechanism, an ancient Greek device that was said to be the world's first computer and was unearthed in 1901. Greek sponge divers unearthed an Antikythera Mechanism inside a sunken ship on May 17, 1901. It was considered to have been built between 150 BC and 100 BC after extensive research. According to a later investigation, it was discovered in 205 BC just seven years after Archimedes' passing. Greek politician Spyridon Stace went to a museum with artifacts from an old shipwreck on May 17, 1901. A spherical, grain-encrusted piece of metal that was among them drew his attention because it stood out from the rest since it appeared to have been pulled out from the sea floor near the little Greek island of Antikythera. Local fishermen had just unintentionally found the shipwreck. One of them had risen from the sea, holding the first discovery from the Antikythera wreckage, a bronze arm. 
The most significant item, however, was the odd object that stuck out among coins, ceramics, and sculptures discovered there. It was what came to be known as the Antikythera Mechanism, also recognized as the world's first computer by scientists and archaeologists. About 2100 years have passed since the antiquated device was submerged at the bottom of the ocean. It was made of corroded or tarnished bronze gears and other metallic mechanical components that had formerly operated nicely. Number 2. Disappearance of the San Xingdui According to recent research, one of China's ancient civilizations may have mysteriously vanished about 3,000 years ago due to an earthquake, a catastrophic landslide that dammed up and diverted the major water source for the Sangjingdui civilization may have been brought on by the powerful earthquake. According to recent research, one of China's ancient civilizations may have mysteriously vanished about 3,000 years ago due to an earthquake. Around 24 miles 40 kilometers, outside of Chengdu is the Sichuan province. A villager was mending a sewage drain when he discovered jade and stone artifacts. Their significance wasn't realized until 1986 when archaeologists discovered two pits of Bronze Age treasures including jades, about 100 elephant tusks, and stunning 8 feet high bronze sculptures. These sculptures suggest an impressive technical ability that was present nowhere else in the world at the time. The artifacts were from a vanished civilization now known as San Xingdui, a walled city on the banks of the Mingjiang River. They had been smashed and buried as if they had been sacrificed. Archaeologists now think that the civilization purposefully destroyed itself 3,000 and 2,800 years ago. Therefore, it's a major mystery. Number 1. Noah's Ark a group of evangelical Christian explorers say they have found the remains of Noah's Ark on Turkey's Mount Ararat. They say they found it under snow and ash from a volcano, but some archaeologists and historians aren't sure about the latest claim that Noah's Ark has been found, which is to say not very much. Explorers made the latest claim from Turkey and China, who work for a group called Noah's Ark Ministries International. The group is based in Hong Kong. It's not 100% certain that this is Noah's Ark, but we think it's 99.9% .9 likely that it is as reported. The team says that in 2007 and 2008, they found seven large wooden compartments buried 13,000 feet 4, meters above sea level near the peak of Mount Ararat. They went back to the site with a film crew in October 2009. Many Christians believe that the mountain in Turkey is the final resting place of Noah's Ark which the Bible says saved Noah, his family, and two of every animal species on the earth during divine flood that killed most of humanity. In a statement, Noah's Ark Ministries International team member Man Fai Wen said, the building is split up into different rooms. Which of these discoveries is weird to you, and why? 